الله اكبر الله اكبر Right now, there's fighting going on between the Taliban and Iranian border guards. It's happening in multiple locations. The Taliban opened fire with everything from machine guns, mortars, rockets, to even 122 millimeter artillery. And so far, we've learned that three Iranians have been killed. There's also video of wounded Iranian border guards being rushed into a hospital. There's been clashes before. Since at least December of 2021, there's been clashes along this border between the Taliban and the Iranian border guards. But we haven't seen anything like this before, especially with the dramatic images coming out. We've got a senior Taliban leader threatening jihad against Iran, saying that the Taliban could easily invade and allegedly capture all of Persia, according to him. We've got these dramatic images of American vehicles that America gave to Afghanistan towing D-30 artillery pieces, which America also gave to Afghanistan, some of which were purchased from Ukraine, refurbished and given to Afghanistan. So they're, they're fighting the Iranian border guards with weapons they got from America. Now, we're seeing two sort of knee-jerk reactions on social media. People are saying, well, this is just the age-old Sunni versus Shia. When you have conflicts involving the Islamic world, that's always below the surface. So it could play a role, but it's not the reason. Other people are saying, oh, well, this proves that the CIA has been running the Taliban all along. And so they're basically spouting off conspiracies that the Taliban has been CIA run all this time and the CIA is doing this. There's an American fingerprint on this, but it's not some behind the scenes secret CIA conspiracy. It's a dispute over the Helmand River and access to water. So on the Iranian side of the border, there's an area known as the Hamun wetlands. And this is fed by a major river coming through Afghanistan known as the Helmand. Now, back in the 70s, Afghanistan wanted to make a dam near the Iranian border. And so they signed a treaty saying that Afghanistan could make this dam, but they would guarantee that a certain amount of water would continue flowing into the Iranian side. Well, the dam was started in 1974. In 1978, it was suspended because a communist revolution started. Fast forward 40 years, the United States of America hired American construction companies to come in and finally complete the dam with American taxpayer money in 2021. One of the final acts of Ashraf Ghani, the American-backed leader of Afghanistan who went to Columbia University in New York City, was to open the dam and then declare that Iran has to buy water off of them. And then shortly after that, he fled the country as the Taliban was taking over. And so that's your American role. It's not some deep, dark, behind-the-scenes CIA conspiracy. It's something that happened way out in the open. It's public information. America completed this dam and was positioning Afghanistan and Iran towards a conflict with each other as America was getting ready to exit that country. Now, I've made several videos before about Afghanistan where I talked about why America lost that war and why the Taliban won. I don't want to rehash a bunch of stuff, but essentially... The Taliban prevailed 
because they went from being an all Pashtun group to expanding and winning the hearts and minds of people from other ethnic groups. America did nothing. America never expanded their base of support in Afghanistan in 20 years, but lied to the American public for the whole time. And it was all a giant fraud. It was all a giant charade. And that's why the Taliban is in power today. Now, the Pashtun make up maybe 40% of Afghanistan. They're the largest ethnic group. Then you've got the Tajiks, the Uzbeks, and the Hazara. The Hazara are the only Shiites. They're right in the middle. Now, historically, Iran is their protector. And really, as everything I've seen is that the Taliban and Iran are, have been trying to play nicey-nice in terms of the Sunni versus Shia dynamic. Now, there's members of the Hazara community that fought in Syria in Iranian-backed militias. There may be small numbers who fought in Iraq against the uh, ISIS and also fought in Yemen. But essentially, the Taliban doesn't want the Hazara to be heavily armed, but they're also providing Taliban security at Shiite mosques in Hazara territory, and they're actively trying to prevent the Salafist groups in Afghanistan from targeting the Shiites. There's at least some effort by the Taliban to prevent Sunni versus Shia conflict. Um, does that mean that this conflict still doesn't have Sunni versus Shia under the surface. I mean, not necessarily. It, you know, age-old tensions could still be playing a role. But the bottom line is the specific reason is this water controversy. And so now what the Taliban wants is for Iran to pay for water with oil, gas, diesel. So while America was uh, occupying Afghanistan and we were giving the Afghan government uh, Humvees and MRAPs and tens of thousands of trucks, in direct violation of American sanctions, America was giving the Afghan government U.S. taxpayer dollars to buy fuel from Iran. Well, now that America's gone, this free American money for gas and diesel is no longer coming in. So the Taliban says, give us fuel, we'll give you water. So this is the main reason. It might not be the only reason, but it's the main one. And there is an American fingerprint on this. All right, thanks for watching this video. Click the like button, post a comment below, tell me what you think about all this, and please subscribe to my backup channels on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble. I'll post links below, and you can support me on Subscribestar and Patreon, and click the subscribe button. New video every few days.